Okay, so you all know his most famous line from his most famous speech, right? I have a dream, but this story isn't about him. This story is about the woman in the top right that you'll see over there. Her name is Mildred Robbins Leet, and she had to sneak out of her home that day just to be in attendance at the March on Washington. Not only that, but her husband disapproved so much that she had to hurry all the way back home so that she could make dinner before he got home, and so that she would know, or he would know that she was gone. And we often will credit Martin Luther King as being the change agent, the one who created this revolution. But it was because of people like Mildred who showed up at places and events just like that. Just like people just like you who show up to events and places just like this. There's another story about a still unnamed man with a still unknown fate who was captured in this next image in Tiananmen Square in 1989. This is one of the most recognized photos of all time. But this story isn't about the tank man either. Nor is it about the guy who even took the photo, Jeff Widener. This is about Kurt Martzen. Kurt was a, an American college student who was there at the time, who was a total stranger to the photographer, who snuck the photographer into his room so that he could take those photos. Not only that, but the photographer ran out of film and didn't have any usable shots, he thought. And so Kurt went out and snuck him in some film. The very next photo that was taken with that film was this iconic photo right here. So Kurt's act of kindness that day transformed everything. And then again on January 6th, 1978, there was a one-day-old baby who was convulsing on his parents' bed. His eyes rolled back in his head, his arms and legs spasmed like that. He wasn't breathing, he was turning blue. His father, who was a chiropractic student at the time, recognized that the stressful delivery that he had had the day before might have caused some interference and misalignment to the upper part of his neck. So checking his spine and his nerve system, and then with about as much pressure as you put your pinky onto your eyeball before a little sore, made a specific chiropractic adjustment. And moments later, the arms and legs of the baby dropped, started breathing, turned nice and pink, and was asleep within about 30 seconds, like nothing had just happened. And that baby was me. But this story isn't about me, nor is it about even my dad, my awesome dad, who gave me that awesome first adjustment that saved my life that day. This is about a stranger, total stranger, this little old lady who told my uncle, the first chiropractor in our family of about now 40 chiropractors, told him about chiropractic. And so the ripple effect of that changed my life years later. And I, my life was saved based on this, this very profound truth that was put into action and practice. And that's that you're designed to be amazingly healthy. Our body's normal and natural state is for health. We have requirements. We have needs for that, for that to happen. We need to exercise. We need to move our bodies. We need to eat. We need to have air, water, a clear brain-body connection, rest and recovery. Your nerve system is the centerpiece of how your body heals and functions. And that's why we in our office focus on the nerve system, just like in many other chiropractic offices. And so when those requirements and needs are met, health is the natural result, just like gravity. It happens every time. And just as you start to move away from that, if you start to lack some of those requirements, your body moves away from health. And so just as your body has needs and requirements to be able to survive and thrive, so does your mind and your spirit. Human needs psychology teaches us that one of the six human needs to live a fulfilled life is the need to contribute outside of yourself in a meaningful way. This is not a maybe. This is a must. You must give of yourself. You must be of service to others. And one of my favorite, favorite pieces of written word is from Walt Whitman. He said that the powerful play of life goes on and you may contribute a verse. When you play a part, who you are and what you do matters. And it may seem insignificant at times. It may seem like a random act of kindness will make no difference. But you never know how far reaching something that you'll say today or do today will affect the lives of countless people tomorrow. And just places, people just like you showing up at places just like this will transform and echo throughout humanity. Because this story is not really about me. It's not about Martin Luther King or Mildred or my uncle or my dad or whoever. This is about you.
because you are the revolution. You have the power to contribute. You have the power to serve. You have the power to love. It's in those small acts. And even sometimes the act is not giving, but it's receiving. Sometimes the greatest act is asking for help. It's asking for support. It's allowing someone else into your revolution. It's allowing for something greater and something bigger to be created. I have this amazing opportunity and this amazing honor every day to work in my practice that is full of people, and we're growing every day because of people just like you who said, you know what, I want to be healthy. I don't want, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I want to take my health and my life to the next level. And not only that, are they experiencing the miracle and the revolutions within themselves, but they're sharing those revolutions with others. They're bringing people into our community and allowing that to happen. You know, our stated mission is that we will reach out to all people, as many families as we can, with awesome chiropractic care, and invite them into a caring community that will help to heal their body, restore their soul, bring peace to their mind, and ignite a passion to see it happen in others. So may you recognize that even in the insignificant small acts of kindness and acts of service every day, that you are transforming lives. That the powerful play of life goes on and you may contribute a verse. Thank you. <laughs>